Ladies and gentlemen, I need to know what the most important thing is to you in your small business. Now that we have the deferment for another six months, what is the most important thing that you would like to see done before say October, which is six months away? Idle loan forgiveness, idle loans in general. However, how many are out there that have not gotten their first loan? Um, and, or would it be the policy map for the idle $10,000 grant? Which one of those is the most important to you do you think would be most sufficient and most needful right now for small businesses to obtain that you'd like to see pushed forward through the Senate and through Congress that we can let them know this is what small businesses need most? Comment that down below. Let me know what you think. And now we're going to head on to the Ida Loan Deferment and more confirmation on that. Thanks again for watching. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's good to see you today on the Speak and See Show. I ask you like and subscribe and click that notification button so when I get information out, you can get information in. I would just like to say once again, the idle loans have been deferred for six months. It's set in stone. We still have people out there saying, well, it's not done yet, it's not done yet. But the truth of the matter is, people are seeing it. It's in there. It's in your K-Web. You will see that it has been extended for six more months. Congratulations to all of you out there, especially those that have been in the ringer and in the dirt fighting for this and contacting your congressional officers, your senators, and all of you who have just went out. Be on the, li on the, on the, on the end of the limb or whatever you want to call it on the... Uh... You just went out on the limb and contacted those senators and congressmen as we started doing in February in I believe it was 25th we started calling that's when we did it live but it worked it's moving forward and it's done so you guys got the idle deferments for another six months we can all make adjustments to our businesses to find out exactly how we're going to use this extra money this extra time to move forward with the business at a time when we really needed that deferment. A lot of you really needed it. Congratulations to you once again, you did it. And I'm gonna give you another piece of legislation, not legislation, but a congressional sen a senator's letter to Guzman that was signed by not just uh, not just Schumer that we had mentioned had, had written Guzman, but this one was also written and signed by 13 senators in total now, which it's great. And this is breaking news, but check this out. This was actually signed on the 9th of March. That is like the day we did it on the 5th of March and then the 7th of March, two more videos pushing forward for everybody to get out there and pump this up. And you did it, you did it. They are listening to the small businesses once again, which is a good time to say, hey, what about those uh, 10K idle grants, you know, in that policy map, they, they counted us out. What about that? Yes, we can work on that too as well. And we're going to keep pushing for that for all of you as well as if this can be deferred or maybe even if those that got 150,000 or less can see some sort of forgiveness on a portion of it or whatever, but it's not over yet. And we are going to continue this fight. And yeah. somebody say, hey, I still want my 10K. Comment down yeah. below. I am going to bring the letter up to you, the congressional letter that is signed by all 13 more senators. Okay, so here's the letter, the United States Senate letter. So this is the actual letter that was written to Guzman that really made it happen. So she had it for two days before it actually was, it happened. Actually, she had it for one day. Um, she had gotten this on the 9th. It was elevated and established on the 10th is our, when our first video came out, our first confirmation came. And I remember back in February, I was telling you, I'm going to keep trying to confirm it, confirm it, confirm it. And finally we got the confirmation, which was on the 10th. So she got this on the 9th, which was the day after. And this is the United States Senate of Washington, DC to the Honorable Isabel Guzman, the administrator of the SBA. Dear Administrator Guzman, I'm not gonna bore you with a litany of all the bad things that COVID did to businesses and why they need the deferment. However, I have highlighted a few examples of what the important pieces in the text are that guarantees you that deferment on your loan. Uh, here it is. Down here, they come to say, 
Upon your confirmation last spring, we encouraged your immediate decision to extend the deferral period out of loans for 12 to 24 months. Remember, Isabel Guzman was the one who made the final decision. Uh, this decisive use of your authority was acknowledged that the operating environment for small businesses remained perilous. So they were saying, telling Guzman once again, it's basically saying, you can do this. Go ahead. So here we go. We're going to go further with it. It says, and it says down here, your decision extend your decision to extend idle deferment period provided immediate relief. So they're giving her props. So they're saying your decision to extend it came immediately. It was great. But we all know, you know, Salazar, Nadia Velasquez, and, and Sharice Davids, and, and Blaine Lutkemeyer, they had a big play in it too. And mainly uh, Sharice and uh, Salazar were the big players in that who we have also contacted uh, a couple weeks ago as well. Um, down we, we, we go down a little further. It says, you have the authority to reduce at least some of the uncertainty businesses are facing with their regard to their idle loans as you did last year. We encourage you to use the SBA statutory authority to provide additional breathing room for small businesses whose loan payments will soon become overdue. So Isabel Guzman has this authority. Um, this is pretty cool, but she does need to take the authority from a congressional committee from Ben Cardin in particular, because he's the head of the, uh, Committee of Small Business and Entrepreneurship. So Ben Cardin is really the, the, and of course, Schumer. He's the head of the majority leader, and we have already seen his letter too. But I'm going to go further and down, come down a little bit and say, when Congress funded the COVID idle program in 2020, it did so to ensure small businesses would have access to capital. They need weather this pandemic to weather this pandemic and ultimately come out of it stronger. After two turbulent years, we know the end is in sight. That's almost verbatim of what we were pretty much saying in our notes and in our Twitter tweets that we were saying, look, man, we're, we're finally seeing a light at the end of the tunnel, but we need a little more time to get there. And this is pretty much what they're saying too. After two turbulent years, we know the end is in sight. Thank you. And SBA should continue to provide small enterprise resources with uh, resources and relief. And we ask you to recognize, she, they're saying again, we ask you to recognize the continued uncertainty and struggles for small business and extend the COVID-19 idle deferment period. Here we are, we're going to give you the names of those who signed this document. And this is big because it's a document that Isabel Guzman gets and she can take it and say, okay, well, if I ever have to go to a hearing for this, to the small business committee on a hearing on this, I've got the document saying here, this is why I did it because these people said it was okay for me to do it. They have given me consent to go ahead and defer those loans. Your loans are deferred, people. It's awesome. Okay, here we go. Raphael Warnock from Georgia. It's about time, Raphael. It's about time because we know Herschel Walker's coming your way. Mark Kelly, United States Senator. Catherine Cortez Maestro, Masto, Ben Cardin. Here he is right here, guys. This is the name we were all hoping to, to look for, to hope and see. Mr. Ben Cardin of the U.S. Senate, and he is the head of the Small Business Committee of Entrepreneurship and Development. He's the one that we needed along with, wait, let's go on, go with a few more. Maria Cantwell, Jackie Rosen. Hey, whoa, Jackie woke up. <laughs> Jackie, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Uh, we give credit when credit is due. We do. We're not against the Democrats or Republicans. We are here for small businesses, period. And I'm going to go further and say Maria Cantwell, Michael Bennett, uh, John Hickenlooper, Je Jeannie Shaheen, Margaret Wood Hassan, Chucky Schumer, Chucky Schumer, another big one, Cory Booker. And then we have down here more. Ma Mazzy K. Horiano, Edward Dave Markey, uh, Tammy Duckworth, and Christopher Coons. Excuse me if I got any of those name wrongs. I'm sorry, but names wrongs, names wrongs, names wrongs. Hmm. Anyway, sorry if I did that. I did not mean to mispronounce your name. However, it's a hard name to say, to submit it. Okay, so there it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the other piece of congressional letters that we have found, or actually senatorial letter. It's a letter from the Senate, not the Congress, but that we have found in our favor, which once again confirms you have been deferred for six more months is what we're seeing right now. That also tells me in the future, if it ever gets too bad, it isn't that hard to see these idle loans deferred. And the SBA will probably end up getting, say, uh, a little bit more power to their names as far as being able to do this. One person out there who has a $500,000 loan 
comes up and says, man, I can't really make my payment this month. So they could call up the SBA and say, excuse me, uh, do you have the authority to defer my loan for another month or two? And more than likely, we will see that develop to where the SBA individually can uh, have those payments deferred without going through Congress in order to do it. So that would probably end up going to your local SBA agent and having that done if the time ever happens, which I hope it doesn't. Hopefully you can continue to pay those. Loans. Hopefully they get forgiven. Let's do that. Let's say it forgiven. Let's see this these loans forgiven. And uh, we hopefully we don't have to pay the SBA anything. Now that would be something because we're talking trillions of dollars here. But nonetheless, I just wanted to come out and let you all know, this is good. You're good. It's nothing that's just a maybe or it could happen or look, you know, it's it's done. It happened. It's perfecto. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, it is done. It is finished. You've got the extra six months. What are we going to do in those extra six months? First of all, we're going to make sure our businesses start thriving. We're going to make those adjustments that our businesses need to make during these crazy economic times that we're in right now. And hopefully we can get our, our head above water. And uh, once again, I just want to say to all of you all, thank you all out there. We stick together on this, guys. Like and subscribe to the channel here because when we get together and do things, the more we have moving in our favor here, the, the better the outcome we get. And that's what it's about is us sticking together, keeping it honest, keeping it real and keeping it, you know what I'm saying? And that's what we do here. We keep it 100. We ain't out to get nobody. If you ever see a scam thing with my picture on it, it's not me. If if it's you'll know if it's me or not because I answer like a regular person. I don't find out not find me on Instagram and I don't use hack of this or hack of that. You see scam artists coming up in these channels all the time and it's just please use common sense on whether or not because I'll never ask you for money. I've never asked anybody for a dime. I never will. So remember that. And uh, can somebody say hey? I still want my 10k. Comment down below. Bye, guys. Yeah.